This is the world's first ever PC build using Intel's brand new 10th gen 10900K CPU and the MSI Z490 Unify motherboard. G'day guys, my name is Corey and I run the Designs by IFR YouTube channel. If you love modified or water-cooled PCs, then you have come to the right place. There is one thing that I really, really, really need to show you guys before we begin. It's the subscribe button. If you could take two seconds out of your time, that would be greatly appreciated and go ahead and click that for me. JW Computers reached out to us and asked us if we wanted to work with Intel and MSI to build Intel's first ever 10th gen gaming PC. And of course I couldn't refuse. So I just wanted to give a huge shout out to JW Computers, Intel and MSI for stepping up and providing parts for this project. So for this particular build, I actually had freedom to do whatever I like. Now, when I first saw the Z490 Unify motherboard, I was pretty convinced that we need to do an all black stealth build with white lighting. So let's actually take a look at the specs. So the case that we went with is the Thermaltake A700TG. We actually really love the clean design that this case offers and there's so much room in there that we might even be able to fit a distro plate inside. The MSI Z490 Unify motherboard actually has an all black design which makes it the perfect motherboard for our theme. Especially when we pair it with the 10900K 10th gen Intel CPU, this is gonna be one beast of a gaming PC. We ended up going with the Western Digital SN550 M.2 drive because it's going to offer us 2,400 megabytes per second in speeds, making it the perfect SSD to load up our favorite games. The GPU is none other than the NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti, making this a serious gaming machine, especially paired with that 10900K, the world's best gaming CPU. Lastly, for the RAM, we went with 32 gigs of the Corsair Dominator Platinums. I was actually thinking about painting the tops of them because they're that silverish color at the moment. So if I paint them all black, then it actually might fit our theme a bit better. However, we do have the gray on the outside too. So we'll actually see what we'll do there. But I think I want the whole inside of the build black. So it's probably what we're going to end up doing. So now that you guys know all the specs, let's actually get stuck into this build.
Okay, so scrap that first idea of an all blackout build. Now what we're going to do, because the RAM has the silver on top, then we've got little silver accents on the motherboard, then of course we've got the GPU block, which we don't have an all black one. Uh, we're gonna have to go with a silver and black theme, which for the most part, I think is gonna look absolutely amazing. And then we'll change all of the lights to white. Now I wanna do something about the pump cable. That one is a standout. I wish that they would sleeve those. The red cable really stands out. So what I might do is create a plate to actually hide the front section so that none of the pump cables are showing, apart from obviously viewing it from the top. But if you view it from front on, the pump cable should be in. Now I've also experimented with some of the tube runs and we actually had the radiator ports up this end to begin with. We did the tube runs, but I wasn't quite happy with them because the GPU block and the CPU block are a little off center and I cannot to get a 90 degree bend to the right hand side it's probably left for you guys watching and then straight up into the radiator uh, because it's too close to the radiator alignment so i used fittings for both and because they're a little off they didn't align properly so what i've actually done and this actually worked out a lot better is i put the ports on this side and that way i was able to run two tube runs this way and make them nice and parallel to the other tube runs that are going in the build so you guys will see all of that now hope you're all enjoying so far
So there you have it guys, the first ever water-cooled PC build using the new Z490 and 10th gen 10900K CPU and motherboard. We ended up trying something a little bit different. We ended up painting over the fittings to make the black match the painted tubes. Actually it came out nice and clean. I'm glad we went with that because then we were able to use the clear liquid, which looked awesome, especially capturing all of those bubbles and that going through the water cooling loop. Now guys, I know what you're asking. You wanna see some benchmarks, however, I'm not able to give you those at this present time, but sometime in the future, we will be showing you guys benchmarks of the new 10th gen CPUs and of course the new Z490 motherboards. That'll be coming very soon. Technically speaking, this is actually the fastest gaming PC in the world. Uh, I think the only thing that could make it a bit faster is if we had two GPUs, but you know, who's gonna do that in this day and age where drivers are supporting you know, one card at the moment. So with this 2080 Ti paired with the 10900K, you're gonna be seeing a lot of frames in the latest games and titles. Anyway guys, I hope you all enjoyed the end result of this PC build. Let me know if you guys wanna see some benchmarks coming soon and I'll be sure to do those for you guys. And while you're here, consider hitting that subscribe button if you enjoy what we do. Helps us out, it's greatly appreciated. Once again, big thank you to Intel, JW Computers and MSI for providing the parts for this build. I'll leave all specs in the description, guys, if you wanna go check those out. I'll also leave our Discord link in the description. Helps us out if you join over there. Actually, you can ask us questions after the video as well. It's probably the best place to catch us. So if you guys wanna head over to the Discord, it's much appreciated. Also, if you would like to support us on Patreon or become a YouTube member, links are in the description. That really helps us out, pays for all of our material costs and everything that we incur each week when we do these PC builds. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.